culminated at the end of our season, well, the first part of our season with the Cape Vargas Big Impact Cycle Tour, which was won by Reynold Jansen and Rensburg. Fantastic victory. Um, with four riders in the final move, and you know, after the team had chased the, the, the major breakdown of the day, um, which we had JC Nell represented, and then with the move that finally went on Chapman's Peak, um, to have four of our riders there with Aaron Brown and uh, and ran out in the final move. You know, we were very confident of the finish. At the, you know, at the end of the race, Helmut Fischer was the danger guy, but uh, you know, he was sitting Aaron, and Aaron unclipped his foot in the sprint, and uh, ran out was leading it out, and just you know, he was so powerful, and just rode to the finish and won the race, which is awesome for us since the last time we won that race was 2007, and then and so you know, we hadn't won it in five years. So it was a great end to a fantastic first quarter for Team NT Quebec. Our team just had an incredibly successful Tour de Lankau in Malaysia, Asia's biggest event, with Dennis finishing in the top 10, and uh, we had six top 10 stage finishes, as well as third in the team competition. So for us, uh, uh, we achieved our goals, we wanted the top 10 on GC, and we wanted to finish highly on the team GC, so to finish on the podium um, there, and to, to finish in the top 10 on the individual classification was great, especially for, for you know, the makeup of our team, which consisted of our three Eritreans, Johnny, Tespai, Meron, and then Adrian from, from Rwanda, and Jacques, and, and Dennis from Nico, who are good you know, hill climbers to, to riders. SA was also fantastic for us with Reynold only narrowly coming second in the road race, Calvin winning the under 23 category, which was awesome for us. And it was a, something that we didn't expect from Calvin Bianca, but great to see him you know, as, as such a young rider taking, taking that jersey. And you know, with the time trials, you know, third in the women's event with Lisa. Andy Pretorius second um, to JC Nell in the under 23 time trial, and then obviously Raymond winning the Elite Men's time trial, which is fantastic so that he can take a national jersey to Europe. And then the other handful of uh, one day races that we won in, in, in the beginning of the year in the, in the final line season in South Africa, the summer season, was also you know, fantastic for us to build our confidence. Now we move on to phase two of our program into Europe with, uh, and into Africa. The team, the men's team, will go and race the to Morocco, 10 days of racing at the end of March, and then they move to Europe for 11 weeks to race many UCI races across Belgium, Holland, France, and Germany, and we'll be back in South Africa in June, and we'll keep you updated on their performances in the next phase of Team Team Quebec's racing.